Welcome Warriors, back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2, and uh, I'm just kind of waiting for uh, the post office to open, so I decided to uh, do another video. Um, thanks again uh, for all the subscriptions and for the likes and the comments. Uh, a lot of my friends in India, I want to shout out to, to all of you. Thank you for the comments, I appreciated all those, and uh, anything I can kind of focus on, let me know. I'm happy to um, you know put any kind of video together just to talks about issues that affect uh, affect all of us, but men in particular, especially men that are uh, a little bit older, like I am in my uh, you know, being 60 years old right now. So please, first of all, if you like what you're doing, go ahead and subscribe and uh, like and comment and go ahead and do that. And then um, we'll kind of talk about the topic for today on this one. The topic is. Uh, make decisions quickly change them slowly so stick to your decisions that's the whole idea now why that why is it important well and part of this once again goes back to that foundation of self-control now certainly if you have a decision to make and you want to get all the information that's wonderful but make the decision as fast as you can and the reason I say that is because you want to be you want to be in command, and you want to be strong with your decision. So once you get the information you feel you have to make a decision, make the decision, but then change it slowly. You have to be stubborn about your decisions. Now part of that comes from the fact that if you're on your purpose and you're able to make decisions, and you're able to kind of stick by your guns, um, you're going to be stronger for that. Now it's not going to be easy. You know, it's never easy. When you're making decisions, especially against things that uh, are against society or against other people or family members, you're going to catch a lot of grief and, and all kinds of stuff, and you're going to have to kind of wade through that. That's why being tough mentally is so important. But true leaders, people who have succeeded, are the ones who had a vision, and they saw upper level. Now, uh, I've seen videos talk about this as a vibration. Well, I call it the energy. So the energy that you have in your mind, knowing where you want to go. And we're going to do a video, I've just not gotten to it yet, of transmuting for success. One of the ideas is to try to be able to use that energy and have a vision in your mind of where you want to go. You know, your vision might be to be a CEO. Your vision might be to go ahead and uh, make a difference in the world, become a, a true leader in this world. Those type of visions are a way above the individual tasks that you do daily. And those tasks are important, but what you really want to do is you want to achieve by looking at the overall picture and saying, where am I going? That's why the purpose is so important. I'm not looking anymore just for um, you know one day at a time. I'm at 456 days, I believe it is. And I'm not, I'm not thinking about you know, um, you know, 10 days or 15 days. This is a lifestyle change. And to me, I could probably stop counting the days and just be as effective. And But I want to also kind of demonstrate and, and see the changes that happen to me as I go along and also the benefits and those type of things. And, and one of the biggest benefits, again, is stick to uh, being able to stick to your guns, being uh, stubborn, saying, okay, this is what I believe in. I'm going to follow through until the end. Now, you can always adjust a little bit if you have to, but do that very slowly. Don't just be saying, okay, we'll go to one restaurant today, and the next minute we'll go to another restaurant, right? We'll change our mind. Then you look very weak, and you don't want to look weak. And I'm going to tell you, men, and I'm talking to the men now, women do not appreciate that at all. If women have to take charge, and I'm going to do another video on that too, if they have to be in command and take charge, 90% of the women do not want that, and uh, that's going to make you look very weak. Now, you can still be with strong women, but you have to be strong as well. And in fact, probably even stronger to be able to have that leadership command. Um, you know, that's the key. But people are going to expect you to be leaders. They expect you to make those decisions. And if you're going to change those, change it very slowly. They'll respect you. They may not totally agree with you. You know, they may be doing something else, but they respect that. Now look at examples of this. Uh, Henry Ford is the best example. Some of you may not, uh, may may not know Henry Ford is the one that developed the line of cars that we call the Ford cars over all these years. And this is about 100 years ago, 115, 20 years ago now. But the thing was is that he uh, had a vision. No one thought he could do it. They laughed at him. They ridiculed him. They made fun of him. But all these people were wrong. 
And most time, guys, in society, you'll see that most people are wrong. It's almost like they're sheep. I talk about these zombies walking around, and there's no offense meant. But the thing is, the people, you do not want to be like that. Do not want to be a zombie or a sheep walking around just following other people because this person did it. Oh, I should do it. Not getting the information, making a decision, making sure that the thing you're doing follows your pattern. If you want a long life of health, you're going to do those things that are going to keep you healthy as much as possible. If you're going to do a long life of uh, success and making money, you're going to do those things that are going to make you successful. Henry Ford had a had, Henry Ford had a vision. He continued working on that division, and he put that vision together, and no one stopped him on that vision. And you look at all the successful people that you have around you, those people, whether it's Tesla or uh, you know anybody that you can think of that's been successful in business, those type of things, they did not succumb to stopping because they had a failure or they stopped because someone told them to stop or stop this kind of stuff. They didn't, were not distracted. And those are the people that are successful models that you want to look at and say, let's go ahead and, and work on this. Now, were they distracted by females coming through? No, of course not. I mean, that would have stopped his purpose. Now, did he have wife? Did he have a wife? Oh, sure. Sure, had kids, all kinds of stuff like that. That was different. You know, there was a different purpose for that. So you look at a lot of successful men, they're not out there chasing women around, doing all this kind of stuff to, to waste their energy. They're focusing their energy on trying to become the best that they can be. That's why we've talked about this before with athletes. They don't, they don't have intercourse or sex or anything like that before uh, a big battle. And you're on this battlefield life and you have to kind of look at this and say, okay, I'm going to, to put everything into this purpose and focusing on my goals and trying to be the best person I can be no matter what's happening around us. And sometimes it's going against the grain. You have to you have to stick to your decision and say, okay, this is what I believe and I'm gonna to stick to it. Now once again, people may not you know agree with you, they may ridicule you, they may be yelling at you, screaming at you, but the bottom line is that stick to your guns. Never lose that. And those consequences that come from that you're going to be taking and moving on. And 90% of the time, something good happens. You lose something, something better happens. And I believe that's what God's purpose is for us, and God will give us something differently to fill in. That's my belief. But the bottom line is that you have to continue to you know, be stuck on your goal, work on your goal, do not give up, because your goal is driving you. And if you lose your goals, you don't have any goals, you're going to be lost and here comes all the temptation, all the distractions, and now you're losing energy and you're becoming weak. And that's really the problem. So it starts with setting up goals and a foundation, then obviously going on your purpose, and obviously going ahead and doing those type of things and make better you in the future. So anyway, stick to your guns. Stick to, don't change your viewpoint for anyone unless you really have a reason that you found to change. But the key is, making decisions quickly and purposely and changing them very slowly if you have to. And uh, over time, you'll see that be very effective. Other people will gain respect for you and you'll see a lot of opportunities come that you may have never suspected because people see you as a man of power, a man of control, a leader, a warrior, and a king. Battle on, my warriors.